The wire-haired pointing Griffon's coat is one of the distinguishing features of the breed. It is a double one with the outer coat straight and wiry, of medium length, and with the harsh texture needed for protection in rough cover. It is never curly or woolly. The obligatory undercoat consists of a fine, thick down, insulating and protecting the skin in all types of weather. The undercoat is more or less abundant depending upon the season and climate, as well as the hormonal cycle of the animal. The prominent mustache and eyebrows on the head are actually extensions of the fine, soft undercoat, so that a Griffon with insufficient undercoat will often have sparser furnishings on the head. The Griffon is a working field dog and retriever. He should not be penalized in the show ring for being in field condition. This includes a loss of facial furnishings. The fine hair is often lost as the dog works the field. This is acceptable. The hair on the ears is fairly short and soft, mixed with long, harsher hair from the outer coat. The overall feel of the hair on the head is much less wiry than that on the body. The hair on the legs is denser, shorter and less coarse than elsewhere on the body. The hair on the tail is the same as the rest of the body coat. It should never form a plume which is prohibited. The wire-haired pointing Griffon should be shown in full body coat, not stripped short in a pattern. Trimming and stripping are only allowed around the ears, the top of the head, the cheeks, and the feet. Remember, the Griffon is first and foremost a hunting companion. He must be shown as such, clean looking, without excessive trimming. As for color, steel gray with brown markings is preferred. Chestnut brown or roan, white and brown coats are also frequently seen. White and orange coats are acceptable too. Less desirable are a uniformly brown coat or an all white coat. A black coat is a disqualification. The Griffon's gait should cover ground in an efficient, tireless manner, showing good extension both front and rear. He moves at a medium speed with perfect coordination between front and rear. Seen from the front, the forelegs should be carried straight forward. Legs will tend to converge toward the center line of gravity as speed increases. Going away, the rear legs should move in a straight line behind the forelegs, again with convergence at faster speeds. Here again is sound movement smooth, powerful, and ground covering. The top line remains firm and parallel to the line of motion. The movement required for working all types of terrain and to maintain the gait for extended periods of time comes from balanced angulation and good muscular development. Finally, a word about temperament. The 
wire-haired, pointing Griffon is beloved for his outgoing disposition and tremendous willingness to please. He is at ease as a house dog or family pet, being a clown whenever the occasion arises. His quick, intelligent mind makes him easily trained as a meticulous hunting companion, as well as an affectionate and trustworthy family friend.